Are you serious? Are you serious? Iran is threatening America every day, and our White House is dismissing it. Here's a report right now by uh, that has to do with what Iran is doing, moving ships, firing missiles, and s s saber-rattling for sure. Tonight, Iran is celebrating the launch of a new generation of long-range ballistic missile. The state TV announcement made no mention of the U.S., but this weekend, the most powerful man in Iran, Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, called American le leaders liars, intent on toppling the Iranian government. American officials publicly say they do not seek regime change in Iran. That's a lie, he said. They wouldn't hesitate a moment if they could do it. Hours later, an Iranian Navy admiral appeared to issue a direct threat to the U.S., claiming Iranian warships were approaching American waters, and that the move was a direct response to the U.S. naval presence in the Persian Gulf. The White House dismissed the comments as bluster. There was an Iranian announcement that they are moving ships close to the United States, and we have no evidence uh, that Iran is in fact sending ships close to the U.S. border. Still, the bellicose rhetoric stands in sharp contrast to the ongoing nuclear negotiations between Iran and the West, and to the voices we heard on our recent visit to Iran. So, what you have here, Iran is flexing their muscles. They are, are they have ships, and he says, I mean, I can't believe Jake Carney, the press secretary of the President of the United States, says offhandedly, ah, it's just bluster. We have no... We don't have any proof of any ships headed, you know, uh, on its way or here. That's not true at all. We absolutely know that there are ships that have left the coast of Iran and are in. They're sailing right now. We know exactly that one. There is a destroyer. Uh, there was a couple other ships along with this fleet, and they're headed right now to the southern tip of South Africa, where they'll make the turn and continue on over toward the Atlantic Ocean. They're on their way. Okay, and other and else also, uh, Iran yesterday tested a long-range missile successfully. Again, no comment from the White House, and Iran has completely broken their promises on the six superpower agreement that the United States, Russia, Britain, France, uh, China. And Germany met with Iran. Remember, Iran said, we will go into a pause with the enriching uranium. We go into a six-month pause. And the, as good faith, the Americans released $9 billion of their assets have been frozen. What did Iran do? Bam! Back slapped. Fire missiles. Send ships our direction. And, and have now have uh, confirmed they have enough enriched uranium that they can build a nuclear bomb. They have the ability, they can have one in two, three weeks if they want to. So uh, to the point of pr uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of, 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 of Israel, Prime, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel, remember when he drew the red line about a year and a half ago, it says we will not let them cross it. They've crossed it now. They have enough enriched uranium to make the nuclear bomb. They have the scientific capability and technological advancement among their uh, elite, uh, among those that are involved with the assembling of nuclear weapons potentially. They have enough intellectual property. They can actually do it. So the question is, when and if the United States of America will respond at least verbally, quit pay placating, quit pacifying the Iranians. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. This thing is getting very, very intense. While you have a peace agreement process being to, being trying to be jammed down the throats of the Israelis and the Palestinians, we're ignoring a rising threat on the world scene called the nation of Iran. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. It seems as if the Persian Empire is about to return, and maybe the Ottoman Empire over at Turkey as well. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're truly living in the last days. We're watching these. And you know the Persian Empire and the Ottoman Empire are both basically Persia and uh, Tagarma are mentioned in Ezekiel 38. Okay, so they're a part of the end time, Battle of Gog and Magog. Please, it's time to give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.
Don't miss today's show from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern at my website, www.paulbakeleyprophecy.com. That's paulbakeleyprophecy.com. You need to be saved, okay? And you need to repent of your sins and call upon the Lord Jesus Christ and, and ask Jesus into your heart. Be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Be born again and go and sin no more. Be saved.